Well, you know, we'll see. I, I like it in Phoenix, but um, yeah, no, we'll see. What's your first, what are your plans in terms of that? I'm going to go back to Fresno. I'm going to go relax for a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm going to talk about coming back here, working out with Cowboy. So we'll see. What did you think about, uh, you know, the audience's reaction to the game in San Antonio where everyone just walked for For Steve? For Steve? Yeah, no, that was that, that was that was something right there. Um, you know, playing with that guy, he just makes it so much easier out on the floor. Um, he's obviously a huge asset to have with us, and you know, if this if this is the last time I'm going to play with him, I'm just grateful for the experience that I've had, for the benefit that I've had playing with him. How would you rate? You had a lot of um, high hopes and expectations heading into the season. How would you rate your year personally? I think we did. A, I think we did a okay job. You know, considering. I mean, everybody, no, not no team had too much time to prep, 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 you know, prep time, but um, I think we did a decent job of eventually kind of finding get a nice comfort level for everybody. How about you and your places? Um, I think it's pretty much the same thing. Um, it was an issue of kind of figuring out what they needed me to do out there, um, what they, you know, eventually kind of hammering out. Uh, an expected, you know, playing time, playing time amount. I certainly hope so. Um, you know, like you said, it's a little. I think the first half of the season was a little weird for everybody. You know, sometimes play quite a bit. Sometimes you know, get six minutes. Then, you know, what? But. I think we did a good job of kind of finding rhythm. Hopefully, I can carry that over in the next season. How did you feel physically overall? Do you feel like you got your explosiveness back? A little bit. I think it's still a little bit of a process, you know. Um, it's slowly returning, though. I think. I, you know, I even felt better yesterday than I did in the previous game. So. You mentioned the relation with Steve last night, and some of the guys say they personally believe he is coming back. Do you do you share in that sentiment? I hope so. I mean, I can't speak for him, but you know, I know I'd love to see him. I mean, I'd love to see him here, too. I think, actually, it's mostly come from Bill, Bill Carr, right? Um, just kind of sl slowing down but still making quick moves, seeing what I have out there, analyzing that quickly and taking advantage of that. I'd love to be here. I love Phoenix, so. If you did come back, do you expect the surroundings to be a lot different than the front office? Um, I don't know how different. Um, I know we need, there's one or two players that, you know, we, that we kind of, that kind of we need, you know. Um, so we'll see. No, not at all. I think I just I would honestly I would prefer not to play six minutes in one half and then not play the next half. That's a little awkward, but you know that that was a bit. That was we were still finding our rhythm, so you know that's to be expected. No, no. People, no people, the public. They're, they get caught up in, you know, 15, I mean, five minutes of anything, and it's a big deal for, you know, five minutes, and then never hear about it again. That's why we have a lot of people, you know, who are kind of not the greatest guys in high up places because you forget about things they're doing with us or anywhere where they're <laughs> I like that. We can go there. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Good point, Bob. Do you expect there to be a lot of interest in you on the free agency market? We'll see. Um, you know, just kind of weighing options about I like it in Phoenix, so. Yeah.